al-Baghdadi is dead. Yes. He was the founder and leader of ISIS, the most ruthless and violent terror organization Go anywhere Trump. in the world. Go he on. died like a dog. He died like, he died yes. Li he fucking died like a dog. That's what we want to hear from the leader of the world. We, we, we want to hear that. It's important that those, kind, those kinds of words are used. That kind of language. Do you know what I mean? There's too many. There's too many nice, nice people in the world. We need some. We need to, someone to fucking say it like it should be. Like a coward. The world. I thought for a second that he was gonna say he died like a dog, and he died like a cow as well. But fortunately, he said he died like a coward. This and violent terror organization anywhere in the world. He died like a dog. He died like a coward. If he died like a dog, I'd, well, did he go away to die, did he? Baghdadi, did he walk off to the fucking fields or something? Or is that cats? Because the, 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 the reading I got off it was that he was blown to smithereens. I've never seen a fucking dog get, get sea, Navy sealed out of it, like, you know? He, they'd want to be mean, a mean-ass dog. A junkyard dog for that. The world is now a much safer place. The president said that U.S. Special Forces blitzed al-Baghdadi's compound in northwest Syria overnight, Did they fall? chasing him into a tunnel. Yes. The president said al-Baghdadi detonated a suicide vest, killing himself oh, along yeah. with three of his children he had dragged along with them Fucking into hell. that tunnel. CNN senior international correspondent Nick Peyton Walsh. Jesus Christ. Right in Erbil, Iraq. And Nick, the, the president gave quite a vivid account of this raid. Absolutely. At times, the rhetoric was quite sort of crude, in general honesty, the notion of uh, Baghdadi dying like a... Cherry bomb. That's my... Thank you very much, cherry bomb. That's, that's very nice of you. Thank you. Annoyed because I fell asleep when I got home and Macron didn't wake me up for slug. Well, you're going to have to... Macron... You'll be getting that. Fucking died like a dog. Whimper. Quite sort of crude funeral honesty, the notion of uh, Baghdadi dying like a whimpering coward. Uh, he talked about how there were some frightened puppies in some cases who were fighting alongside Baghdadi. A vivid picture certainly painted. At times, it's helped by a president who was almost in awe, possibly, of the US security machinery unfolding around him. You referred to how he got to watch it, and as, it was often as though you were watching a movie, uh, possibly uh, at times revealing a little more than his security chiefs would have liked. He was at pains to they would not say from which base, he said a port, from which base this was launched, but they had gone in and out the same way, uh, and also suggested that the flight time was an hour and ten minutes. Hey, now, a basic donate. assessment of that in helicopters means you're probably looking hey, at maybe somewhere you. in the Mediterranean yeah. or possibly Please even somewhere in Iraq, but Joke a lot of details Thank seem you. to emerge here that seem to be on the edge of the comfort zone of what his officials may necessarily have liked. Uh, Jesus, really, I mean, he, he was on the edge of his fucking comfort zone last night, I'd say, when they, when they burst in. Baghdadi or bushed. Do you know? It's fucking Baghdadi or bushed. His son, man. We'll get a picture of him in, in the fucking beard. If I have it. Oh, here we are. Look at that now. He had a lovely, a couple of lovely cushions he got there from Home, home Shore and More before he, before he did the, the fucking, the booming. And uh, I used to drop him off every week. I said, what's the story? You're always in home store or more. He said, when the, deep, when the cushions are gone, Tommy, they're, got, they're definitely gone. He said, I know, uh, Baghdadi, I listen to the fucking radio. He says, I do too, Tommy. I do too. And I love, I love, a, I love a good deal, he says. I love a good deal. And... Um, he said he was going to be going to Pakistan then. Pakistani bang bang. Down to the gun markets then. Out in Pakistan. They're, they're no notorious for. Uh, or famous for. Making. Uh, quality guns. Like copies. Quality copies. In the same way the. Uh, 
the Mexicans make Stratocasters. Or uh, that the uh, the Dacia boys, the Renault boys make Dacia. Is, it, is that a Renault en- engine? I'm not sure. Um, he says he's going over to Pakistani Bang Bang to buy some quality Kalashnikov copies. Kalashnikov ripoffs. And I said, why? And he goes, because when the, when the AK-47s are gone, Tommy, they're definitely gone. <laughs> I said, you'll be fucking gone if the Americans get hold of you. Eh? See you later, Baker. Bye, Daddy. Bye-bye. Good luck. And that last time I saw him, then he wa- walked away and never came back. Never fucking came back. How you doing? Bag Daddy fell. And we are here today to commemorate... And remember, a life spent fighting for what he believed was right. And um, hopefully now he's up there, the big gig in the sky, fucking watching a bit of stream, watching the stream and enjoying it. We know we we did have it on good authority. The Abu Bakr, Pat the Baker, was so fresh, so famous, and really into streams as well. And he was about to set up a brand new Twitch channel called I'm the Baghdadi 69. But um, he was unfortunately blasted into kingdom come by the Yankee Doodle Dandads. He got Yankee Doodle Dandoed by the fucking Star Star Spangled Boys. The Star Spangled Bastards got a hold of him and rang his neck. And I got to tell you something. 